Hey guys, Al Pulne here from Party Time DJ Services with yet another powered speaker review. Today we'll be looking at Yamaha's DXR8, uh, the smallest member of the new DXR line from Yamaha, which includes the DXR8, 10, 12, and 15. As uh, you may recall, I did do a review on the DXR15 a few weeks ago and I absolutely loved it. So I decided to check out the 8 as well and I actually heard the 12s too. All great sounding speakers, they all really sound very alike. Uh, except for the low frequency response, obviously, which uh, increases uh, as the woofer size does. But uh, today we'll be looking at the DXR8, which I actually picked up for myself, seeing as I really love little compact cabinets that uh, have tremendous output for their size. But I also like uh, the flexibility of the DXR line, especially when it comes to this mixer, uh, which has no less than three separate inputs. XLR with a micro line switch that gives uh, more gain for your microphone or less for a line source. They also have quarter inch in and RCA. All three separate channels with separate level controls. Uh, the DXR series are fan cooled, uh, which keeps them cool and they're reliable all night long. They also have a limit signal protection and power indicators, as well as the front LED disable switch, which basically just lets you turn on or off the white LED in front here. Now it's not lit up on mine because they're not powered on right now. You also have uh, different settings which include, uh, you can just set them to off which basically gives them the nice flat out of the box sound or you can uh, flick that switch up that gives you the front of the house main application and uh, automatically engages the decontour, which is basically a low and high frequency, just a slight boost to make them sound even uh, bigger and uh, nicer overall. Or you can set them to monitor, which uh, gives you less low frequency response to get rid of that uh, stage rumble. You have high pass filter, which uh, you can set just off for 100 hertz or 120 hertz to be used with a uh, separate uh, powered sub. The uh, Yamaha actually they have some uh, matching powered subs, which are the DXS 12s and 15s which are also available. Then you have a link out, which can be set to mono or stereo. Power switch and uh, plug-in. Now the DXR is basically a lower priced alternative to Yamaha's DSR series, which came out uh, a year or two ago. Uh, the DSR are a little more expensive and offer a bit more performance, although not quite as much flexibility as uh, you don't find such a nice mixer section. Uh, the other difference is the, the actual components. The DXRs feature the sta just standard uh, ferret or ferret uh, woofer and horn as opposed to the neodymium used in the uh, DSRs. Now you would think that this would uh, make the DXRs heavier but actually uh, these little guys, the DXR8s, come in at about 29 pounds while the biggest DXR15s will come in at 49 pounds which is still very manageable and uh, for the low frequency response you get from the DXR15s as mentioned in my previous video uh, it is definitely worth uh, the 49 pounds. So I did pick up the DXR8s. Uh, I have nothing but good things to say about them obviously if I picked up a pair myself. Uh, sound is very hi-fi, very clean, nice and airy top end. Uh, they just sound very sweet if you like a nice sweet top end and uh, loads of output for the size these little cabs are great of course they are 8 inches uh, they have 8 inch woofers and just like the DXR 8s or 10s they should be used with a uh, powered sub at all times except for maybe uh, P, just vocal applications for announcements and stuff or just background music but uh, for DJ applications DXR 12s or 15s are recommended if you're using them standalone without sub and that goes pretty much with any really compact uh, powered top. So there you go, uh, Yamaha DXR8. Highly recommended, great sounding solution, nice and compact. Uh, the only difference between the DXR8s and 10, uh, other than the um, the woofer size, the DXR8s here do not have a monitor angle. So if that's important to you, uh, you'll want to get the 10s instead. But I really wanted the as compact as possible, with the sweetest sound, and I think I found a nice set of uh, compact and flexible powered speakers in the DXR8s and I'm very happy I picked them up to add to my collection. There you go, Yamaha's DXR8s and uh, the DXR8s uh, are available at uh, five, uh, is it 549 in the US and uh, DXR15s, the biggest model, is available at 799 US so a very good price for a very good speaker and I believe they come with the Yamaha's three-year warranty. There you go guys, have a great day!